Do you want to tell us the story of him, Sarah? Um, so the eagle came in in late March. It was uh, March 21st. A game warden discovered him up in Danby. And uh, this bird, we suspect, was hit by a car because he found the bird along or possibly in the middle of the road. It was eating a deer carcass, but we think it got clipped by a car because when it was presented to us on that Friday, uh, it had very bad head trauma symptoms. It could barely hold its head up, um, very lethargic. We actually weren't sure that this bird was going to make it. That's how out of it it was upon admission. Um, so the other thing on top of that is it was suffering from starvation, very skinny. So after we got the bird in, we started it on a lot of medication to try to pull it out of that head trauma phase with some anti-inflammatories. And then with the starvation, we give them a shot of vitamin B and iron to try to pull them back from the brink on that, as well as a lot of clear fluids. And within the next 24 hours, the bird, it just made a complete turnaround. And when we came in the very next day, or it was maybe two days after that, it was alert, very bright, aggressive, which is very good sign for an eagle. Um, we finished it with uh, fluids for the next three days, gave it solid foods, and it ate voraciously. So it just continued to make really great progress and very quickly, which was good for this bird, because eagles, um, they're a high stress bird in a rehab um, kind of environment. So it's quick, it's good to get them in and out quickly if you can. So after we were able to get a lot of food in the bird and the bird started to put on weight and develop better muscle mass for flight, we moved the bird outside into what we have, a large enclosure we call the flight cage. And after the bird was in the flight cage, it definitely showed that it could fly very well, have really good lift, good control, very good strong flights, and we knew it was ready to go. So it was a very quick recovery. Um, and this is a young bird too. We think this bird's probably only a, maybe a year or two years maximum due to the colors of its feathers. Its beak is still black. Um, and it weighs only about eight pounds, even though it looks probably like it weighs 30. <laughs> but it's strong like it does weigh 30 pounds. So, um, so we're really happy to get this bird back out. And it's probably even more happy to be getting back out in the wild. So, All right, so we're going to do it. Ready? All right. Go for it, dude. Go, baby, go. Uh, That's beautiful. Oh, is he going to stop? Oh, perch on the trees. Thank you. <laughs>